So we're, we're all familiar with live from New York. It's Saturday night. Well, now you can go live from your phone, your tablet, and your computer for your business for free. You don't need special equipment. You don't need a director. You don't need a set. You don't need a cast. Just you and your phone or you and your computer. It has never been easier. And you can broadcast live. So no matter where you are or what you're doing, you can broadcast live. And the best part about this is it is so easy. People have, you know, apps have really figured out that in order for people to really want to do something with their app, it has to be super simple. And video has never been simple until now. And here's why I like it so much. You can do instant live video with no uploading. Normally uploading a video can take hours. Like this webinar, when I'm done, I will upload it. It will probably take at least an hour, maybe two. Uh, it takes a long time to upload video. Uh, I will also have to edit this, this webinar that we're doing. When you do live video, there's no editing. And you don't need any special equipment. You literally tap your screen and you're broadcasting live, which is so, so incredible. So what are the apps that you can use to do this with? Well, there are three, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And there's a little asterisk beside Instagram because it's not ready yet, but it's coming. So the two that we're going to focus on today are Facebook and YouTube. And they're called Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Now, I'll tell you at the outset, Facebook has really outdone YouTube on this. Even though YouTube is the video channel, they've had live video for a long time, but they didn't brand it correctly. They made it overcomplicated, and people just didn't use it. So once Facebook came out with Facebook Live, they changed their platform and made it a lot easier and called it YouTube Live. So I'm going to see uh, what we're getting here in terms of uh, what people want to see from the webinar. So let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Let's see, we're going to exit full screen. Okay, I'm not seeing anything from you guys. I need you to tell me what the one thing is that you want to see from today's webinar. Uh, what do you want to know about doing Facebook Live or YouTube Live? So let's take a look at Facebook first. Facebook Live is their live broadcasting tool. And it is mobile only. And it will probably stay that way because most people use Facebook from their mobile phones. And so it's just easier for them to offer Facebook Live on a mobile device. So it is mobile only. Uh, what kind of things should you be broadcasting? Well, here are some things that I've done. And um, these are, I did an update. I showed the screen for the new blogging 101 lessons. That was kind of breaking news because this is a brand new class and these are new lessons that I'm adding weekly. Um, I also did an announcement about an upcoming webinar about the editorial calendar. So again, that was kind of breaking news. This was some behind the scenes uh Facebook Live that I did on how to create an editorial calendar. I showed you, I kind of let you watch over my shoulder as I created an editorial calendar for the next quarter. So this was a tutorial of sorts. And these are all Facebook Live videos. And you can see I've done them, like the shortest one is like a minute and a half. The longest one was almost an hour. And it really was an hour because these three are, were all part of the same video. It just, um, the reason it's showing up as three separate ones 
is because the video quality was spotty and so it would stop and start and stop and start. So here's what I recommend. For Facebook Live video, I, I personally, if you were going to do video on Facebook, this is really the only way to do it. There's really no reason to be uploading a lot of video and doing stuff like that unless it's just something that you cannot do from your mobile phone. So do breaking news, a virtual tour of your business, something that's behind the scenes. Think about all the things that you do in a day uh, that the general public doesn't get to see. You know, give them a sneak peek into something that would be fascinating to them that they normally don't get to see. You can do tutorials like I did down here or even event coverage. You know, we just got off a, a huge political season. You saw a lot of people doing Facebook Live at rallies. Uh, you see a lot of event coverage at conferences, fashion shows. Um, even I have a colleague who does a lot of Facebook Live events from wholesale trade shows that are not open to the public, showing brand new products that are going to be coming soon. So these are all the kind of things that you can do with uh, live